I was always a kid who was running around in the woods. My father has a great appreciation for nature, and so I was always out in the woods with him. And I always knew that for my career, I wanted to be able to continue working with nature, being in the woods. So whippoorwills is a species of bird that is of special concern for the state because they used to be more abundant in the past. Currently, they're experiencing over 6% annual decline in Massachusetts. For migratory species in particular, it's difficult to understand why populations are declining because they live in different areas during their entire annual cycle. The top reasons why populations are declining tends to be habitat loss or habitat degradation, whether it's on their breeding grounds or their non-breeding grounds. For this species and many species of bird, there's a large amount of natural history information we still don't know. We don't know for the eastern breeding population where they're wintering. We don't know what routes they're taking. We don't know when they're leaving or when they're returning exactly. For the whippoorwill research that I'm working on now, what I'm doing is I'm capturing birds on the breeding grounds. I'm placing data loggers on their back, which they will carry through the year. When the birds come back and we recapture them, we take the trackers off the bird and then we can download the information. And with that information, we'll be able to get a general sense of their latitude and longitude through the year. From this research, I'm hoping to learn how we can move forward in uh, boosting populations of whippoorwills, whether we need to focus on building more habitat on the breeding grounds. That's certainly a piece of the puzzle, but we want to also understand how we can assist the species on its migratory route. Do we need to ensure habitat protection or restoration in those areas? Also, because this species uses a mix of habitats on the breeding grounds, management for the species can actually benefit a larger community of species. I'm also including WPI students in the process so they can learn research techniques and research skills. It's a very different experience than what most of them have had in the past, and I think they either love it or hate it, and that process of understanding which one is just as important. For me, I didn't discover that I love fieldwork until after college, so to help undergraduates discover that they love it now is really special.